Okay guys, so I'm just going to take this one tree out. They're here digging out for my asphalt project. So we're going to take this one tree out. I'm going to leave these other trees here for now. So it's going to be a nice slow process of warming my wife up to getting rid of them. We're going to tear this one out first. And we kind of already pushed it down a little bit. It kind of went well. And I'm hoping that we can get most of all the root ball out of there. And, uh, so hopefully my wife doesn't totally flip her lid. But that tree is going. This could be one of the best days of the year so far with this tree going up and going down. So here it goes, it's gonna go down right now. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Kind of pull that root ball up and out of there. There. Just I'm just taking the one out. See my wife's over there saying no. She just popped her head out of the old uh, house. No, 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 don't tear it out. But it's just straight up gotta go, it's junk. I'm freaking pissed you took out that tree. Why? That was like the good tree. So my wife just came out here and she's picked that we took that tree out, or I had them take the tree out. But that's the only one I'm getting rid of. It's that one for now. Helping me with this are two chicken to just get their track hoe out and pull these two trees down. They're chicken because there's a power line over there. So I'm gonna get up there with the ladder and with these straps. They want to strap it and then we're just gonna pull it down. Okay, so I got that strap. I just need to hook on another strap to it. I hooked up the strap up there at the top of this tree. Then I've hooked two of these straps together like this because I don't have one that's long enough. So I've got two. We're gonna hook up the track hoe over there and just pull it down. So I'm gonna keep this tree, I'm gonna keep that tree. But these two are going, I tore one out over there. She wants me to keep the trees, so I'm willing to keep these two. We're gonna hook up this to the track hoe, which is right there. Okay, so here it comes. So I'd say that was a success. One more. See that? That was pretty awesome. See that? That was awesome. Those freaking trees out of my life. So the rest, I just got like a little bit of a stump left. I will just have to tear that one out by hand. But I'd say that that is a win for today. I did get my wife's blessing on this. She doesn't want them to go away, but I really want them gone. And so she was okay with it. And so I said, hey, let's get it done. She doesn't want it but she allowed me to do it, and I 
love her for that. She is awesome. So, big shout out to my wife for allowing me to do this. Check it out. Awesome. It's done. It's ready for asphalt. I've got my road base in there. Probably three or four inches of road base. It's compacted down. I've got my ribbon and it is ready to go. What a sight to see. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I do have quite a lot of work ahead of me, but man, I will take it because this project is finally coming along. If I can get this all cleaned up and landscaped really nicely, that'll make my property so much nicer if I ever decide to sell, so. So look at the deer prints through here. See that? Right there, right there, right there. I've got these deer prints right through my lawn. So now I need to go find out what the plan is so I know if I can mow. Cause I wanna mow, I wanna mow over there. Let's see. Oh, look at this bad boy over here. So check this guy out. This guy's brand new. Oh, she's beautiful, man. Purpley, bluey color. Kind of like a white tint to it. It's beautiful. So this one's new, but it's just, it's too bad because it's gonna freeze here this week and I'm gonna lose it. It just barely bloomed like today or a couple days ago and I've only get to enjoy it for maybe a few days and then I'm gonna lose it because we are going to get freezing temperatures. So dahlias do not like freezing temperatures and I'm about to get some freezing temperatures this week. But man, this thing's beautiful, I love it. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me with cutting up those trees and then hopefully next week they're gonna come and do the asphalt. I should probably sprinkle that with some more water, spray it down so it will kind of compact a little bit. I do not want um, low spots and settling in my asphalt. Ooh, I will not be a happy man if that happens. Dips, um, depressions, potholes in my asphalt, no. But it looks good and it's ready to go. So this is a big, big deal and a big change in my lawn and in my yard so it's working out great thanks for watching guys i appreciate you guys if you like my content subscribe to my channel down below share my videos with your friends and let other people know what i've got going on here and so we can build this community together i want to thank alan hayne i want to thank ryan Nor. i want to thank grass daddy and those good folks that are building up our community. Um, this has been a fun, fun summer to be a part of this and I look forward to your comments down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.